Welcome Aries. This is your reading for August 2024. So before we begin, I'm going to ask that we're surrounded by pure white light. And I'm going to ask to have your higher self come forth today to give you the information that you need to hear for your highest good and the highest good of everyone else concerned. So let's see what's going on for you for August. Deteriorate. All right, so what is it that's that's been slowly feeling like it's just been difficult and maybe um, hard to keep up with? We'll see why that's coming up for you for August. And remember, Mercury is in retrograde, so again, that can make things slower, all right? Kind of deteriorate things. You have to shift around a lot. Okay, so this is about being honest, about looking at being <laughs> naked, um, looking at things, looking at relationships, and seeing what isn't working and what is working, okay? So this is about paying attention to how you can shift things around. If you see that things are um, a little out of whack or not um, flowing the way it needs to be, this is about how you can make some changes this month, okay? And that's what we're going to dig just a little bit deeper and see what else we can do to kind of fix that for you for the month of August. And it feels like it might, probably was feeling that way the end of July, too. It's just shifting into the beginning of August, but now we're mid-August, so. Ooh, so money. So is it that, um, you know, you have to be honest with your money situation? What is it that you've been expending maybe too much or um, it's not um, uh, lasting as long as you think it is? What can you do to hold back? Um, what can you do to kind of budget? So pay attention to that. Be honest with that and look at it very clearly. OK, it's the summer. Sometimes you, you can kind of overindulge in things, maybe. Um, you know, because it's summer, if you're on vacation and you want to have, you know, a great time, there's nothing wrong with that, but it's just being about honest about, look at, you know, how maybe the funds are dwindling a little and maybe putting some extra aside, save a little extra for this month so that you don't find yourself short in September. And it's good. That's a good, this is about a start. So just, again, if you pay attention this month, um, again, especially for the summer, just kind of watch it, you know, especially it, um, again, Mercury's in retrograde. So things get kind of uh, confused. Um, things um, get misconstrued. So maybe you put money in a bank account. It went into the wrong one or something like that. So this is about really starting to pay attention to that and making sure that you're aware. OK, it's, it's a good month to, to try to do that because or a good month to try and pay attention to this. Yes. Um, and and um, so this is the kundalini energy, the snake. So this is actually talking about, you know, being satisfied. If you start to pay attention to this, this could actually make your money grow in the long run. OK, so very important to pay attention to that. It's time. And this could be a good start for you. Yes, because in the past you've had to kind of struggle a lot and, and this way. Um, this is the beginning to um, actually take um, uh, take a look at everything and start to get it to move. And and this again with the snake, the snake is moving, the snake is changing. So it, it's and it also may be that money has been deteriorating in the past, and now this is the start where you know those worries and those cares are not going to be as much because you've started to make those changes. You started to feel satisfied. So again, you can look at it um, in a lot of different interpretations. But it's what pertains to you, what you can take from it, from these cards. And again, this is the rule. So let's see what the rule is. Yeah, so there you go. This is So the rule is just actually just making a plan and really sticking with it. And again, this is like being a meditative solo. Um, just if you make a decision that you want to make some changes in your life, let's say it's you want to save up for a car or a house or anything like that, just start um, really sitting down, making a plan and beginning. This is the rule. If you follow these rules, you will have an amazing new start with your financial um, situation. Um, I like that. That's exciting. And this is different from a lot of the cards that have come up. 
this month. So Aries. Oh, and marriage. So this is commitment. So congratulations here because this is going to show that um, you can actually be committed now to having something strong, having a um, foundation. So again, pay attention, start looking at your finances, budgeting a bit and uh, letting go of those woes. And um, once you start making the plan and follow that, that, that procedure, you're going to be committed, married, a wonderful uh, situation. And again, it, this also can be too, um, if you are in a relationship and you um, are, finances are together, then this means about looking at each other honestly and your budget and start to think about, you know, how you can shift it to, to, to bring in more money and be more, have more financial stability. So again, it's just paying attention looking at things and starting a plan or a rule and that will be a commitment that you both can have so again this month really is about money and balance okay and it looks like you can again um if you make a plan and stick with it you'll have success um so congratulations on that um august is actually a good good month for you so have fun enjoy it um again just stick with the plan and you'll be okay so thank you so much for watching, Aries. Um, please let me know uh, if this makes sense to you, how it pertains to you. If you like the video, definitely comment, like. And if it's the first time you're watching, thank you so much for watching and have a great August. Enjoy yourself. Buy a lottery ticket. Okay, bye.